to read this proclamation uh, is really my, my highest privilege and honor. A proclamation from the city of Palm Springs, California. <laughs> and I do love this, by the way. <laughs> Whereas there shall be a special dedication ceremony on the sidewalk in the beautiful city of Palm Springs at 515 North Palm Canyon Drive on Friday, the March 16, 2012, at 4 p.m., well, 4.30. <laughs> I'm learning. i got to get this time to routine. Honoring Lily Tomlin and Jane Wagner with the 345th Golden Palm Star. And whereas, in conjunction with this ceremony, the citizens of Palm Springs will pay tribute to Lily Tomlin and Jane Wagner, whose illustrious careers have added significantly to the world prominence of this beautiful desert oasis. And whereas... Emmy Award-winning Lily Tomlin rose to national prominence in 1969 on the television series Lappin, where their characterizations, characterizations of Ernestine, the irascible telephone operator, and Edith Ann, the devilish six-year-old. Lily Tomlin went on to star in six comedy television specials, which she also co-wrote with Jane Wagner. She made her Broadway debut in Appearing Nightly, also written and directed by Jane Wagner, as the senator mentioned, whereas... Emmy Award winning Jane Wagner is one of America's most distinguished playwrights. She has won numerous awards for her work in television and for one of the most critically acclaimed plays of the Broadway season, The Search for Signs of Intelligent Life in the Universe. Jane has also received two Peabody Awards, the first for the CBS television special JT and the second for the ABC television special Edith Ann's Christmas, Just Say No Well. Together, Jane and Lily have become an award winning creative alliance that has lasted for over 40 years. Yeah. 40 years! Now, <laughs> therefore, I see Mayor of the beautiful city of Palm Springs, California, do hereby proclaim by the power vested in me, do hereby proclaim March 16, 2002, be, March 16, 2012, to be, and please stand in a standing ovation, Lily Tomlin and Jay Wagner. Thank you very much, Steve. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next speaker, Mayor Pro Tem Ginny Fote. Thank you. I don't have any whereases. That's, I leave the whereases up to the, the mayor. And we can talk all day about the accolades that this amazing couple have garnered, whether it was the Tonys, the Emmys, the Grammys, or whatever, they've received them all. And I want to know, I want to see a show of hands, who amongst us hasn't done their own personal imitation of Edith Ann? <laughs> or who hasn't been accused of being Edith Ann? <laughs> Uh, and then I was going to say women, but I'm in Palm Springs, so I'll say, which one of us hasn't had a Tommy Velour as a love interest in our life? <laughs> Unfortunately, I remember a couple. Um, but I want to talk on a more personal level. I don't know if Lily or Jane remember this the first time that we met, uh, but it was in the late 70s. Uh, we had a mutual friend, Jan Holden who unfortunately is no longer with us. And Lily and Jane had a home in the Los Feliz area of Los Angeles. And a group of us gathered as we always did during the women's movement because we were gonna change the world at Lily and Jane's to discuss some stealth strategy. I don't even remember what it was at the time. Uh, I, it might have been self-exams. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we were talking about the avail availability of self-exams. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
And, but I do remember how committed both of them were to the women's movement. And as I got to know them over the years, uh, they gave so much of their talent and their time and their art and their presence and their influence to a whole lot of things, whether it was the civil rights movement or the women's movement or the gay and lesbian movement, you only need to ask and they gave. And, and for that, I truly think we owe you a deed of gratitude. If you don't you did speak, say no. you did say no. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, I don't remember you saying no, actually. <laughs> you know, there's a saying that says, if you don't stand for something, you stand for nothing. And these two epitomize standing for something whenever you need them. Uh, I remember also back in 1985 or something around there when I went to New York to see the first showing of Search for Signs of Intelligent Life in the Universe. Some people thought it was the funniest play they had ever seen, and I thought it was the best political play I had ever seen. It was incredible, and, and you're an incredible writer. Um, uh, and so I, I'm just delighted to be here today. Um, this is, this is an honor for Palm Springs. Uh, I'm gonna urge uh, Lily and Jane today to resurrect Edith Ann, because I am sure she will have some intelligent things to say to all the men who think they know intelligent things about women's bodies. <laughs> so we need Edith Ann back. Thank you, Lily and Jane. You have done so much for advancing human rights and civil rights and women's rights, and we are honored to have you in Palm Springs, and we're honored to have you start here. Thank you, Jenny, so much. Our next speaker is not only a talented, extremely talented photographer, but he's a producer, he's a humanitarian, and he holds the 308th star on the, walk of, on the Palm Canyon Walk of Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Michael Childers. This is payback time, because Lily, Lily gave me my star eight years ago, so here we are. Eight years ago, seems like yesterday. What a thrill. I want to talk about my two friends of 40 years, 40, ooh, Lily and Jane. What can you say about their extraordinary achievements in the arts? One thing I can say is that these are two serious ladies about their craft, their passion for perfection, and their activism for social justice. You know of their accomplishments in theater, television, and film, but I know them as champions for women's rights, gay and lesbian causes, and their fight for equality, as well as their unflinching belief in human rights. Their Tomlin Wagner Theatrical Production Company has financially backed so many important documentaries, plays, theater companies, and performing arts centers who foster their ideas of commitment and enlightenment. Thank you so much, girls, for that. <laughs> Behind the scenes, they are so devoted to one another and have great respect for their very different talents and personalities. They love architecture, they love great old houses, they collect photography and art, they adore gardens, they read everything, everything like Sarah Palin. Uh, <laughs> where was I? <laughs> you know, and uh, the best thing is they always have the greatest dogs. <laughs> Out Magazine said that they were in the foreground battle in the early 70s as one of Hollywood's first royal out couples, along with Isherwood and McCarty. Yay! 